Today we're going to be doing a coil relocation uh, using some parts from the DK Customs mob, um, some eBay bits and my general hands. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. We've got some Fatak spark plugs uh, pre-made to fit. Um, the idea behind Fatak spark plugs is I think the same as cars in the respect that the fat of the spark plug, the fat of the spark, the more spark gets to the spark plugs. Speaking of spark plugs, got some new NGK jobs. The ones that are in the actual um, in the actual engine are looking a bit corroded there. I don't know if that's going to come up. Um, they're looking a bit corroded. I don't know when they were last checked and or even gapped and so forth. So I'm just going to put new ones in. It's probably just a little easier. Now the purpose behind this whole thing is to actually relocate the coil. Now currently you can see the coil here on the right hand side of the video. This coil apparently is stopping air going around the engine. I don't think that's right, but the, the science seems to think it does. So I'm going to be taking this, twisting it around 90 degrees and mounting it where this horn is currently, often called the cowbell horn, because it looks a bit like a cowbell, like that. This will get rerouted to run underneath the uh, fuel into the back and in underneath the seat. That's the idea anyway. So um, with that in mind, uh, we shall start. Tip for young players, have the fob on you. Turn the ignition, this is for people who have an alarm system. Turn the ignition to ignition, then take the fuse out. Do not take disconnect the battery. Because if you disconnect the battery and you don't have the ignition to, on, and you don't have your, you've got your fob with you, but you don't have the ignition on, an ear-piercing scream of hell occurs. Okay, we're about halfway through. It's taken a little longer than I thought because there is a nasty little screw down there, all right? which isn't magnetized, so when you undo it, it falls down into the cabins of a Harley-Davidson engine. And that took about 20 minutes longer than it's taken me. So with all of that, uh, the disregard the, tish, the towel for now, I'm pretty uh, clumsy with my wrenching skills and I just don't want to hurt the tank. So what I've done so far is I've taken the, the cowbell out, as you can see here. It's a big bugger. Um, it makes a good noise, but uh, yeah, it's just not really what I want it to look like. Uh, I've taken the spark plugs out. You don't need to do the spark plugs if you're just doing this straight up. But I was replacing my spark plugs. The other cool thing is I managed to have a look at the spark plugs. And they look like white coffee, which apparently, that's the front one there. And that is the rear one. Apparently, that's exactly what they should be lo looking like, which is excellent. So uh, I've taken the cow cowbell thing out, uh, so that's what this looks like down underneath here. Uh, and uh, I'm at this point at the moment. Sorry that I can't show it actually happening, uh, primarily because my idea for having a chest rig has not worked. So I think I'm going to have to get one of those chesty things. Cool. A slight small change of plans. I've got a confession to make. I quite like the cowbell there. But, I do want to move my coil. I've also got fatter spark plug leads, which are made to do that. So, fabrication time. What I've done so far is I've cut the central section of this off. It can now not be attached back. I'm going to modify this so that this becomes the cover for the coil. Because I am an odd chicken, and I do like that look. So, a bit of chopper. Well unfortunately the idea didn't work. Um, I was going to use this. I've cut the uh, cut it as you can see there. Uh, how's that? It looked great except the mounting, you put the mounting on which you need the cut DK Customs mounting to, hangs it right here. <laughs> which uh, yeah, no, nah, just doesn't work. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the DK Customs as per uh, with the black cover and I've got on order a, hopefully on order, a chrome cover so it chromes it up because I like a little bit of chrome there. 
Okay, so that's where the horn is mounted. It's a little slim one. I uh, only had to m remove one little doobie whacker down here and shove it down there. It's plenty of room. This sits down nicely. Um, doesn't pop up or anything, which is great. <coughs> the DK Customs is in and running. Well, I don't actually know if it's going to run, so we're about to try that now on video. Won't it be awful? Also, found out I've got a battery tender down here. Don't need to wire one up, which is really kind of cool. I've got ideas for um, those two holes there where the old coil used to be. Now with the coil gone, you've got more air flow through there apparently, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but yeah, I've got an idea for this bit. Um, so let's try the horn first. So we do the horn. Yep, that's loud. That is really loud. I'll just make sure that the bike will actually run. And the bike does in fact run. In fact, oddly enough, and I don't know whether or not that's the new um, the new leads or the new spark plugs, but certainly I'd no longer have to um, goose the throttle a little bit at startup, which I did have to do. So that's kind of weird. That's that's completely from cold. I haven't started the bike today, so pretty happy with that. Uh, so I'm just going to button up the seat and um, find myself a, a lonely beer. I have a bit of a think.